Hello guys, I do trust you're all doing well. This is Tutorials by Kasanga. Today I want us to make a squeeze back advert. A squeeze back advert and for this first session we are going to be doing a squeeze back advert which is in steel. We are going to be doing it on Photoshop on a wide screen image format that is 16 by 9 or 1920 by 1080 p so we come to file new and then now we input the dimensions that we want that is 1920 by 1080 we are going to call this sq still I'm going to press enter for it to populate now the very reason I'm using these dimensions is that most of the TV screens right now are using a wide screen which is 16 by 9 the as that's the aspect ratio and that is the one that I'm going to be using for this video if you're using a different format like the 4x3, the 1x1, you can just uh, in the settings play around with the pixel numbers so that you can get your aspect ratio. But for, for this one, we're going to be using the 16x9. Now, this is where the whole real estate of the TV comes. And uh, I'm going now to use the square tool, the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a rectangle to cover this whole region. The reason as to why I'm using this whole region uh, is to create the video panel that uh, when the video uh, shrinks and sizes where it's going to rest upon and then we're going to have the rest of the area which are going to be calling the safe zone where now we can be having our TVC or our advert. Okay, now I'm going to do is Control T so that you can use the transformation tool. I'm going to hold the shift button and on this edge, I'm going now to size it to that. Let me just size it to that. Now what this means is that this blue area that you're seeing here, the aspect ratio is still 16 by 9, although the pixel is not the 1920 by 1080, but the aspect ratio remains. Now what you're left with this other part is the where is the part that you are going now to be using for the TVCs. Now let us just populate it. Let me come and you know take another rectangle tool, cover the whole area. I'm going to use this rectangle tool for the bottom. Let me change the color. I prefer white. What I need to do is to take the elements that I'm going to be using for the TVC and now arrange them in the squeeze back image. So I'm going to select the images. So these are the images I'm going to be using. Let me commit all of them. It's quite a process, but nonetheless, we are going to go the whole round so let me group this these layers over here let me group them mm, let me transform them and I want to position them right over here. This is where I want to position them so that 
this is where the logo is going to be and the other area is going to all the details of what I want people to do to subscribe uh, to the channel so let me resize this one and then we reposition it now the first side I want it to hold YouTube and the second side I want it to hold uh, Facebook since uh, these are both integral parts of what we do. I think this one image will suffice. Let me have it there. Then at the bottom, you're going to have the YouTube channel's name. Uh, I don't think that image will be using. Now let me do the Facebook one. Let me resize it. Uh, let me just select the Facebook and the like button. And... Uh, I resize both of them. I resize them, bringing them to the bottom to a size that I deem fit. Now let me separate them. Now let me position them. I think that is a good position. Now, uh, the only thing that is left is to, you know, write a text to indicate well, the, the channel's name. And the channel's name is Tutorials. by Kasanga since the main color is tacos that's the color that you're going to be using let me match that color that's simple reduce the font size to let me try 11 11 is good let me commit the settings bring it down here And then let me duplicate the layer. And then the duplicate layer, I move it right there. Uh, I'm thinking of resizing the Facebook icons. They uh, kind of don't look that neat to me, so let me just resize them a bit. Good. Now, the other thing that I'm thinking is, um, let me just change the color of the diagrams to match the site that uh, they're representing. Like for Facebook, I turn it to blue, and the channel name on YouTube, I use color red. Now this is just an example of how it's supposed to look like. Now this part here, now initially the video will be playing on the whole screen and then when the video squeezes to the back it's going to fill this area and now this blue part is going to house your video and then the video now uh, fills the whole screen again. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this has been instrumental. Join us for the next episode. We are going to be doing a squeeze back in motion. Uh, the output is going to be a video format, and this element that you're seeing in still images will be in motion. Some of them will be scaling up and down, others will be uh, moving across the screen, others will be fading. We are going to have a lot of mo uh, motions happening, so be tuned for the next episode. Otherwise, have a good one. God bless you. Till next time, goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.